There have been dark days and there will undoubtedly be some dark days ahead. And there's no reason why this should have happened. I'll speak for my wife, my son, and thousands of friends who are police officers. that badge, that gun, and put on a uniform daily. None of us believe that we'll ever not come home to our families. None of us ever believe will not return to our children. The, the persons that ended Garrett's life do the scumbags that go out and shoot people, who rob, who shouldn't be out on the street, deserve the same as the police officers, the firefighters, the people that serve the public daily. Did these guys even care? I doubt it. The effect that they've had on this family, the whole family, this community, is something that goes without saying. Look at the people here gathered together tonight. From all different sections of the community, all different faiths. Can I ever go to another family? Do I ever want to go to another family and have a conversation about what we're going to do next? You know, do I ever want to sit in a hospital room and talk to, to Jordan? And sit down and, and just talk about what he meant to her as a father and to her family. No. Do I want to talk about the notes that he writes for himself, Sabrina? And you probably don't know that I know about those things that he needs to check off on his list to do for you all year. No. I don't want I don't want to have these. I don't want to hear this. It's getting dark and uh I'm not seeing the the speech I had prepared uh, too well right now, but I will say this. Derek gave his life in a sacrifice, uh, in a sacrifice to maintain peace. And it's the same peace that we gather in this evening. Uh, the cops go mingling again with everybody in this community, and I'd ask my police officers to go back out in the community, not in a sense of anger, but in that same sense of service and selflessness that Garrett displayed.